Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve equations as binomial squares. Now, equations as binomial squares sounds rather difficult to do, but as you'll discover, it's actually uh, pretty cool and easy to solve equations as binomial squares, depending on the binomials that you have. So, for example, one thing you want to consider is if you have x plus 5 squared equals to, let's just say, 25. Now, this is a binomial square because binomial means you have two terms, a two-term polynomial, and it's being squared. So this is an example of a binomial squared. Now, to solve binomial squares, what you want to do is you want to get rid of the square, but to do that, you have to think about the opposite operation, which is taking the square root. So if you take the square root of this side, you're on your way, but as you might imagine, when it comes to solving equations, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So we got to take the square root of both sides. So what happens here is the square and the square root both cancel. You're left with x plus 5 on the left. And then square root of 25 is going to be 5. But because you're taking the square root of both sides, one of the things you want to keep in mind is you have to put the plus or minus uh, symbol there because the two answers would um, solve this equation. So at this point, you simply want to separate into two equations, x plus 5 is equal to 5, x plus 5 is equal to negative 5, and then go from there. Subtract the 5 on both sides, you have x equals to 0, and then subtract the 5 on this side, you have x is equal to negative 10. Now, bottom line here is, when it comes to solving equations as binomial squares, make sure that the binomial square is actually by itself. That's going to be a very important tip. And then once you isolate it, you want to square root both sides and then solve the equation. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to solve equations as binomial squares.